Get away from him. Don't touch him. Left their little sushi bed here. I just farted on. I don't even have a pillowcase on that thing. Insignificant. I'm just trying to save my son. Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day at the Urban Rescue Ranch. Each and every day is a new blessing from the Lord. A blessing which I am very, very thankful for. It is so important to wake up really early in the morning this time of year because any other time of day is just terrible. But this time of day, why did this branch fall? This time of day, it is just absolutely absolutely perfect hey good morning kanye thank you for eating all the ragweed little man looks like this little man can't eat the ragweed now if you guys watch enough of my videos you know i like to poke fun at our friends up north particularly our friends that do farming content because when they're freezing their butts off in march queen and i are having the days of our lives here in 70 degree weather issue this time of year though is that we only get that in the mornings in the summer and although in the very early mornings it's super nice and easy to do farm chores here even at 9 10 o'clock at night it's about 90 degrees i'm really glad that we put this pond here because it gets shade just about the majority of the day from these trees but this is really the only body of water we can have here on the farm that won't just evaporate some animal burrowed a little hole here and the only thing that can really survive in here right now is tadpoles but i'm still thankful whoa is that hit rapper and artist a baby well it's nice and cool right now about 70 80 degrees it gets to be 106 degrees at midday and that is no buenga i just farted on him and now he wants to leave look how perfect this little man is also if you guys didn't know this the babies are crepuscular which means they're super active in the mornings and the evenings, uh, not necessarily nocturnal. Particularly in more urban and suburban areas where they don't want to hang out with a lot of people, the babies will become more nocturnal. But this little man has free range of the entire property. He likes to drink out of that pond over there, which has no algae, which is so surprising. And all day, he has plenty of grass to graze on. I think he's going to have plenty of grass to graze on for a long time. Thankfully, we have all of this heavily drought-resistant grass. And I did see you guys' comments about potentially using a nail dremel just to make them a little less sharp. And they're not really even sharp right now it's more of just the strength of his arms that make them dangerous you see that he is an adorable little baby boy give me a kiss mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And because of these temperatures in the next video, I'm going to go ahead and move all the baby Rias out here because even nighttime temperature is brooding temperature for them. Now. These mothers here are still doing a great job of raising their babies. I actually see them on the other side of this fence a lot. And Kanye just likes to follow me around everywhere I go. Having said that, the I am Chimani's will get into here now and eat all the food for the Rias. And everything that I did intend to be over there in the back is now free ranging. Here you go, Kevin. Here's a little thing for you to hold. There you go, buddy. Have fun. But yeah, guys, even right now, it is very, very hot and it is seven in the morning. I'm filling up the water for the pigs right now over there really no chance of any of the grass coming back right now for this summer this is the worst drought we've had in over 10 years okay so it turns out she wasn't just sitting in here she laid an egg in here isn't that annoying get out of there this is not a nest although it is a cute little spot for a nest when i opened this up kanye just ran right in there and i have to go get him so he didn't get picked on by kevin look at this little man back up i'm gonna kick you don't do it oh my god back up kevin i'm just trying to save my son from getting bit by you. I'm just trying to save my adorable little baby Kanye, my handsome little man, who doesn't seem to really be concerned over there at all. He's just nibbling. Kevin, hello, you're very handsome. I raised my hand above you to make myself look more intimidating. It's working. I cured Kevin. Wow. Whoa, oh, oh, almost got me there. Almost got me. Back up. Even though Kevin just submitted to me like a second ago, whenever I started to walk towards Karen, I think Back he up. felt threatened, so he Come ran out. Based up. in protecting his wife build? Kanye's nibbling on the branch of this mesquite tree that fell. Get away from him. Don't touch him. The dryness of this dirt and the erosion showed me that there's still a good amount of trash that I need to pick up here. She was definitely the chickens digging through this that exposed all this trash. All right, everybody. This is the new setup. As you can see, I have my cappy brappies, and my mom got me this couch. Thank you, mom. I love you. I haven't put the legs on yet because I don't want them to hide under there and I haven't even put it together, but it's cute. And now we have two couches. I'm gonna be real with you guys. It did not make sense to have that stupid tent in here because these guys were just hiding in there. Really, really skittish. It wasn't really good and conducive to getting them tame. They love their sushi bed. I like having the watermelon there because eventually they will be able to eat it. But right now, this is all they can do. <laughs> stupid little dumb cappy brappy weak insignificant small what's really cool is that they'll let me just sit here and watch them they don't really like being separated that one just walked over there i put that little pillow there in between the ottomans they love to hide from me but now they're getting a lot more comfortable walking around in front of me i'm trying to constantly give them access to hay uh, they just pooped in this water a little bit so they're pooping well i give them their milk in a dish and i give them this little pellets here i like to bottle feed them but sometimes i just can't because i'm either too busy or because they will eat the bottle tips and 
that made me really nervous. I left actually a bottle tip on the ground. They actually chewed off the rubber bit and I couldn't find half of it. I hear that they do have a pretty wicked digestive system, but I do want to just make sure and I am going to take them to the vet pretty soon just to get an x-ray just in case. Also, they chewed my headphones up. Several well-known capybara owners told me I don't really need to worry too much about that, but I care about these little boys, so I'm going to get them checked out. Trying to do the best I can, you guys. We do have these little things here separating them from going in there because there's just too many little things in there that they can get into right behind the washer dryer. It's just so much better to have them in here. Same thing with that. They don't really need to be going in my room. It's cute to bring them in there and cuddle with them. But at the end of the day, this is good enough. I got rid of all the little electronics and things that I had stored under there. I took all the stuff out of the basket here. I do have some of your fan mail that I keep in here, but I put the rest of it in storage. I don't think they'll try to chew on any of these things, but it'd be funny if they did. And I don't think they would actually eat it but just about everything else here in this room i'm okay with them chewing i went ahead and put the wire for that thing up there so they don't chew that but the best part about them oh he hopped up on the thing oh don't poop on my pillow i don't even have a pillowcase on that thing but as you can see they can hop pretty well pretty soon they probably will be able to get over this little thing i've heard of them even needing a whole bag of bread plastic and all and been okay and this is my little capybara proofed room they chew on little bits of the furniture here and there that's fine that's okay that's a part of the game they've done a phenomenal job of warming up to me and eventually slowly but surely i'm going to go ahead and sit with them cuddle with them more often the best you guys the best is when they go in there and that little sushi thing which they love to do and then i can just pick them up together it's really hard to catch them both together so i can pet them and stuff if i have them in there i can pick up the whole sushi thing and cuddle with the sushi thing while i'm watching my show also this is forcing uncle ben to read more and watch tv more both of which are things i don't do very often because of how busy i am but you see that I can literally just climb up here and then chew on the cord that way it's really annoying watch this i'm gonna go ahead and just walk over to them see oh see they're kind of moving away now we'll see if they'll let me sit on the couch no probably not Yo, he's so scared to hop. Be careful now. He hit his head. No, he's okay. Clappy blappy. With this setup, I can just sit here and watch them crawl around all morning. They exclusively drink the Fiji water that I got at HEB. You guys in the comments were saying, Uncle Ben, how can we distinguish between Gort and Quandale Dingle? And there is zero way. And there never will be a way, you guys. It's simply just Gort and Quandale Dingle. That's just the two of them together are Gort and Quandale Dingle. Just kidding. I'm going to go ahead and get a collars for them pretty soon. They're both eating well. The next day, and this is how I start every day with them. Okay, I pull up. Hop out at the after party. You and all your friends, oh, they love to get naught. Sipping on that thing, I know you love the Bacard. 1942, I put you back in that bar. Okay, I put. I really don't mind if I do with these adorable little babies. I might just have to eat these boys up. I might have to cut you guys up into tiny little pieces and eat them. Look at the little feet. Look at their little webbed toes. Let's see if they let me sit here with them. Come on, just let me sit down. Come on, just let me sit. Then they'll just sit there on the ground because they stink. The next day. Okay, I pull up, hop out at the after party. You and all your friends, oh, they love to get naughty. Sipping on that hand, I know you love the Bacardi. 1942, I put you back in that bar. Okay, I pull up, hop out at the after party. You and all your friends, oh, they love to get naughty. Sipping on that hand, I know you love the Bacardi. Okay, I pull up. Hop out at the after party. You and all your friends, oh, they love to get naughty. Sipping on that hand, I know you love the Bacardi. 1942, I put you back in that bar. Okay, I pull up. Well, well. Well, well, well. They are now comfortable sitting down. Ooh, so close. I've been trying to get these guys comfortable laying down with me. They will now officially let me sit on the couch with them and they'll let me stick a camera right up to their face. Ooh, and this one is so much better. But what are you gonna do? I'm gonna put colored collars on them so I can tell the difference between the two. I'm just gonna go ahead and read with them and sit with them like I normally do. This is how I am resorting to taking care of my clappy blappies. They have their little sushi bed here. And I just like to pick them up. The next day, they hopped up on the couch next to me for the first time. They just hopped right up. Look how precious they are. Thank you all for watching my video. They don't have any gut issues and they are healthy. Goodbye. Ooh, I almost forgot to tell you. Ah! <laughs> Please like and subscribe to my channel. Please.